started with a chain three as the first double crochet then one double crochet in the next two stitches it's number one and number two chain three one double crochet over the next three stitches it's number one number two and number three now chain up three and one double crochet in a chain four chain three one two three one double crochet over the next three stitches so this is number one number two and number three chain three now we skip the to here and we make three double crochet together so in each stitch one unfinished double crochet so it's the first the second unfinished double crochet and the third unfinished double crochet four loops on the hook four and pull through chain three one sorry two and three in the next three stitches again one double crochet in each stitch it's number one number two and number three chain three in the chain four you make one double crochet chain three one double crochet over the next three stitches number one number two and number three chain three now again one double crochet in the next three stitches so here it is this is the first double crochet the second double crochet and the third double crochet chain three in the first two stitches you make two double crochet together so it's the first unfinished double crochet and the second unfinished double crochet and pull through now next three stitches one double crochet it's number one number two and number three over the next two stitches two double crochet together so here it is three loops on the hook and pull through and chain three so the repeating part will be from here all the way over till here your work can start curling right now and that's okay in the first three stitches you make one double crochet in each stitch so it's the first second and third chain three one two three one double crochet in the next three stitches it's number one number two and number three chain three one double crochet in the chain four from the previous row chain three one double crochet over the next three stitches one number two and number three chain three like this then we make three double crochet together over the next three stitches so here unfinished double and the next an unfinished double crochet and then the following an unfinished double crochet there's one two three four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through chain three one double crochet in the next three stitches so it's number one number two and number three chain three one two three one double in a chain four from the previous row chain three 
one double the next three stitches. So three double crochets in a row. One, two, and number three. Mm. Here it is. Chain three. One double crochet in the next three stitches again. So there's number one. Sorry. Here. So this is number one. Number two. And number three. Now chain three. One, two, three. One dub uh, two double crochets together over the following two stitches. So it's the first unfinished double crochet and the second unfinished double crochet and pull through. Now over the next th three stitches, one double crochet, one, two, and number three. And two double crochets together over the following two stitches. Here and here. Chain three. So, I'll show you the repeating part. Will be from, let's see, here all the way over up to the last chain three. Repeat this throughout this round and we'll finish off this row together. I crochet it around and we'll slip stitch into the third chain we started with. Let's see. It's number one, two, three. Here it is. Underneath two loops is the best way. Following round, start off with a chain three again as the first double crochet. So one, two, three. In the next two stitches, you make one double crochet, so you have eventually three double crochets in a row. It's number one and number two makes three included chain three. Chain three, one, two, three. In the following three stitches again, one double crochet. This is one, number two, and number three. Now chain three, one, two, three. In the single double crochet here, you make three double crochets on top of it. So you go from one double crochet up to three double crochets. It's number one, it's number two. And number three. Chain three. Go to the next three stitches and you make one double crochet on top of them. So three double crochets in a row. Is number one, number two, and number three. Now chain five and we skip the three double crochet together from the previous row and we go over to the next three stitches here. And you make one double crochet in each stitch. It's number one, number two, and number three. Chain three. Three double crochets in the one stitch you have here. So this is number one, number two, and number three. Sorry, number three so here it is <laughs> chain three one double crochet in the next three stitches so again three double crochets in a row this is number one number two and number three chain three in the next three stitches again one double crochet in each stitch number two and number three chain three in the first two stitches you make two double crochet together so in the first and in the second stitch you make an unfinished double crochet and then you pull through so it's the first and the second three loops in the hook and pull through one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet of the next two stitches. So, this is the first unfinished double crochet and the second unfinished double crochet. One, two, three loops in the hook and pull through. Chain three. 
so. Now we start a repeating part and this will be from here all the way over till here. Let's start with one double crochet in the first three stitches. So three double crochets in a row. This is number one, number two and number three. Chain three. Again one double crochet in the next three stitches. This is number one, number two, and number three. Chain three. Three double crochets in the double crochet from the previous row. This is number one, number two, and number three. Chain three. One double crochet in the next three stitches. This is number one, number two, and number three. Now chain five and we skip the three double crochet together from the previous row and we go over to the next three doubles from the previous row and we make one double crochet on top of them. So three double crochets in a row with a chain five started. It's number one, it's number two, and number three. Now again, chain three, one, two, three, and let's get some yarn here. We'll make three double crochets in that single stitch here. So you go from one double crochet over to three double crochets. It's number two. And number three, chain three, one double crochet in the next three stitches. This is number one, number two, and number three, chain three, one double crochet over the next three stitches. This is number one. Number two and number three. Now again, chain three. One, two, three. In the first two stitches, you make two double crochet together, so two unfinished double crochets in the first two stitches, three loops on the hook, and pull through. One double crochet in the next stitch. And the following stitch you make two double crochets together. This is number one unfinished double crochet and the second unfinished double crochet. One, two, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through. Chain three. Well, the repeating part will be from, let's see, here all the way over up till the chain three. This is what you crochet around and we'll slip stitch into the third chain together. I crochet it around and we're going to slip stitch into the third chain we started with. Here it is. Try to put your hook underneath two strands of yarn instead of one, it makes it more solid. A nice even edging. So far this is how it look, looks like. Let's get started with the next row. Again, chain three. One, two, three as the first double crochet. And in the following two stitches, you make one double crochet. So three double crochets in a row. It's number two. And then the next one double crochet is number three. Chain three. In the next three stitches, you make one double crochet in each stitch. So it's number one, number two, and number three. Chain three, one, two, three. Two double crochets in the first stitch, one, and two. One double crochet in the next stitch. And now I need to attach my yarn for the following stitches. I just attach my new yarn. 
and put the strands with my yarn and I will crochet my first double crochet in the next stitch. I take my two strands here, put them down and then I put the working yarn and pull through. Now chain three. Yes, I forgot to crochet my double crochet, sorry. Now in the next three stitches you make one double crochet. <coughs> That's number one, number two, and number three. Please don't forget the double crochet that I just forgot. Since I do voiceover, it's a bit too late to redo it. So now chain three, one, two, three. In the next three stitches you will make one double crochet on top of them. So it's number one. Number two. And number three. Chain three. One, two, three. And now we're at the repeating parts where I just forgot my second double crochet. So keep watching right now please. So in the first stitch two double crochets. So number one and number two. In the next you make one double crochet and now we're at the point that I forgot my double. So in this stitch here you need to make two double crochets instead of one. So here two stitches, two double crochet in one stitch. Chain three and we keep on going. And then following three stitches you make one double crochet on top of them. So three double crochets in a row. This is number one, this is number two, and number three. Now chain three. In the next three stitches again one double crochet in each, each stitch. Oh, I need to go a little bit down sorry. Number one. Number two. And number three. Now we're at the end almost, chain three, yeah. chain three, one, two, three, and we'll make a three double crochet together. So we make a little point in this leaf. So in the first an unfinished double crochet, in the second an unfinished double crochet, and in the third an unfinished double crochet. I've got one, two, three, four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through, chain three. So now we start from here all the way over here with the repeating part. Just like we started, only with two double crochets and the only stitch that I forgot. So we start again. In the first, second and third stitch you make one double crochet. Here it is, number three. Chain three. In the following three stitches you make one double crochet. So again, three double crochets in a row. This is number one, number two, and number three. Chain three. Now we're at the point that I forgot it again. So in the first stitch, you make two double crochets. This is number one and number two. In the following stitch, you make one double crochet. And now we're at the point that I did one double, but you need two doubles. So two doubles in one stitch. Chain three. In the following three stitches you make one double crochet in each stitch. This is number one, number two, and number three. Chain three. Go into the next three stitches and you make one double crochet in each stitch. So one is number two and number three. Chain three. In the first stitch you make what two double crochets. So this is number one and number two. One double crochet in the next stitch and again two double crochets in the next stitch. It's number one and number two. Chain three. 
one double crochet in the next three stitches. This is number one. Number two. And number three. Chain three. One double crochet in the next three stitches. This is number one. Number two. And number three. Chain three. Now three double crochets together over the following three stitches. So here's the first unfinished double crochet, the second unfinished double crochet, and the third unfinished double crochet is one, two, three, four loops, yarn over and pull through. Chain three. So now from here all the way over up to the last chain three will be the repeating part throughout this row and we'll close this row together well i did my correction here not at my finger but well i made my double crochet that i missed out in the beginning and we'll close off with a slip stitch in the third stitch and we continue in part 3.2 see you next time <laughs>